Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Leo Sun, Moon and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful support in this year, 2017. I'm hoping that you will stay, um, continue with us in the year 2018. Um, this is the last week. Um, the week begins from the 25th until the 31st. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to each and every person out there. Um, this is going to be a week for you guys. You're ending this year on a positive note. This is the general year. So you're ending it with a very positive note in your reading. You have the sun with uh, the Ace of Swords and Ace of Pentacles. And this is wonderful and this is positive. So whatever the situation that is happening, whatever is going on this is going to be very very positive so let's um, look and see what is happening because this week has the energy vibration of water and you are a fire sign but you have the energies of the hurt coming up and with the energies of the hurt you're going to see wonderful positive things okay so this is going to be good so let's um, look and see what exactly is going on because it's it's actually a very good week so let's see what's going on with the eight with the energies of um what's um affecting you um with these energies you have the two of swords so that is going to be um good because and the 12. <laughs> oh my god oh this is this is this is fantastic i love this deck i love this deck whatever is happening i just um so loved this deck this deck is a wonderful positive deck okay so okay um what is um your thing there you have the energy of the four of cups okay you have the energy of the four of cups so with the energy of the four of cups this is a wonderful energy because it is a positive situation where you have uh, um, whenever the energy of the four of cups comes in people always think that you know you are um, really 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 like um, as if you know things are not going your way but actually it's it's a very good um, the four of cups is always the moon in cancer so this is good moon in cancer is good and it's new experience new emotional things indifferences um, excess that leads to um, this satisfaction and boredom for some people but new possibilities are seen um, the Lotus reflection in the water indicates spirituality and uh, um, emotional richness so um, this is um, really really a good time and then you have the energy of the magician so the four of cups with the energy of the magician you're really um, leaving um, this year of 2017 um, with a good bang and this is going to be good because whatever is happening you are balancing um, looks and abundance is yours uh, leaving this year this last week so this is good for you Leo so the first energy you have is the energy of the Sun which is wonderful and the four of Pentacles and the four of Pentacles is bringing out the Sun so there's a lot of success a lot of promotion um, on Christmas Day you'll be opening um, your presents and that sort of a thing and you'll be realizing that you, you receive a lot of gifts and a lot of surprises especially for business people um, you'll be receiving these expensive gifts and these sort of a thing that you weren't expecting so this is going to be good because um, the energy of the power of what you do and how you treat people through the world is coming back and you're seeing this on Christmas Day so Christmas Day is going to be extremely extremely wonderful so Merry Christmas um, because your Christmas is going to be a very very positive one as we move on we have the energy vibration of the Queen of Swords on Boxing Day or the 26th of December and the air offense so whatever the situation is with this Queen of Sword um, she is getting it from an organization because um, they will be dealing with her very harshly um, whoever is this Queen of Swords they will be dealing with her very very harshly because of something that she has done okay so she's in the reverse form she's constantly coming up in the readings in the reverse form it's good when she's in the reverse form and especially she's thinking about what she has done so that is very good 
Um, you have the two of swords and the two of swords is peace finally there is peace and you're protected and you're finding in a strength because finally there is peace peace is coming on you're protected and there is in a strength so whatever the situation is and what's to ever this is going on because you're so peaceful you're finding in a peace and you're finding the inner strength to stay peaceful no wonder what no matter what is going on around you okay as we look at Thursday we have the magician coming up so you have the magician twice so this is what I'm saying is that you're leaving this year with a boom a note this is just so good this is just so positive because um, the energy of the magician and um, the princess of Pentacles so whatever is happening you and this princess of Pentacles so you and um, someone who is a Taurus of Virgo or Capricorn between the ages of 25 and 20 um, and 25 and 45 is you know going to be connecting and and really really bringing forth bringing forward something that is beautiful because this princess of Pentacles is about to teach you how to bring forward positive and good things in your life and this is going to be extremely positive so um, no matter what is going on this princess of Pentacles was sent um, in your life to help you to open up this magical world and as you look you can see this I love this card because I think it's one of the most uh, honest death um, in a card and I think it's the energy vibration and how she has developed these cards because these cards because these are the small ones these are the baby ones I love them they're my favorite I use them to do the year reading last year and every time I find my favorite card of the year I always use them to do my year reading last year was a super success with the year reading so this is wonderful the energy of the magician this queen of Pentacles is coming with the magician to bring in wonderful um, new things in your life and this is going to be good because the energy of the magician is a wonderful energy energy of the magician is linked with mercury and it is associated with communication and timing okay and as you see um, the magician how it stands up it's you know you can see that he's waving he has all four, four elements so you know this is what is going to happen for you you have all four elements in your hand the magician comes in twice when a magician comes in twice in a reading especially that it is the forecast of this reading um, it's magic really happening in your life um, the magician is aware and he creates his will and not alone but with the help of higher power okay so the magician is like um, whenever you manifest something you use a higher power to bring it down in existence okay another piece yeah two piece <laughs> another piece comes up piece will be yours because um, and the ace of sword victory and success this is a huge victory and success and peace will be yours so you have twice um, peace and twice the ace of swords so this is good this is a wonderful wonderful reading on Friday whatever is happening you are going to be victorious and successful and peace is going to come at last once and for all peace is going to come in your life okay as we move forward we have the energy vibration of the ace of swords again there's a judgment and the eons um, the eons it's a judgment and um, it's uh, the ace of sword and it is this victory and success okay so the energy of the eon and um, judgment uh, the eon on judgment and this is uh, um, the ace of swords victory and success is coming to you so um uh, the the um, the judgment is calling out to you and said listen you have victorious and successful um, come over this because you can see this on Friday and it's coming back on Saturday and it's it's um, and this is this is telling you you know you have come through um, whatever that was going on in your life you are now um, you know at a place where there is huge victory and success that comes in and this is wonderful this is positive okay so 
on Sunday um, the nine of swords is in reverse which is very good because whoever that was worried about money you need not to worry about money anymore because the ace of Pentacles is coming in so you know this is um, a card of worries you have no reason to worry because the energy of the ace of Pentacles is coming in and this is going to be wonderful this is going to be good this is going to be an energy that you're leaving this air with and this is wonderful for you you um, Leo's because you're the only side that is um, the Taurus had that too um, the Taurus just had money coming out of all different parts of them so you know and um, let's look and see um, your energy um, for this week and you have the source the ace of swords twice so these are you know the ace of swords is powerful the ace of swords is absolutely absolutely powerful you have one major or two major or corner which is the Sun and the Sun is always you know one of those energies that is just so wonderful so powerful because the energy of the Sun and the star they these are you know the Sun is linked with the the source of all things the Sun is linked with the source of all things and you have the four of Pentacles which is a wonderful wonderful energies to have because the four anything that has to do with four is stability and stability that is coming in your life so the four of Pentacles is always one of those energies that is you know really really powerful because the four of Pentacles is Sun is the Sun in Capricorn and you have the energy of the Sun in the Sun of all creators so you know that your financial situation because you're starting um, this is Christmas so you know that for the rest of this week going into the new year that your financial situation will be good so this is actually a very good reading and as we look at you know the energy of the peace peace is one of those wonderful situation and then you have the princess of Pentacles who this princess of Pentacles anytime uh, the energy vibration of a princess of a um, the Queen of Pentacles and that sort of a thing these you know the princess of Pentacles the is the earth of earth you know the mother is the water of heart so this is good because this prince this um, princess of Pentacles that is coming in on Thursday it's a wonderful energy because um, it's study and education you know it's the pregnant woman embodies the fertility and growth birth of a new creative form and this is this is really good this is really positive so you know um, your reading is wonderful it's, it's one of the most wonderful readings so far for the end of the year day um, and as you look at it because peace comes in and peace is the two of swords and you know whenever the energy of peace come in you know it is as if the universe because peace is the moon in Libra the moon in Libra you know this is the energy of the moon in Libra and this is a wonderful positive energy because it's responsive it's um, meditative and it's a spirituality of all things so you know it is as you know it is communicative it, it is it is what is going out from the mind body and soul so this is this is extremely wonderful so whatever is transpiring in this week it's going to be positive it's going to be perfect it's going to be good you're ending the month so you have the number two dualities and a lot of people keep on getting these energies of dualities you have number two and you have number one twice so you have 11 and you have 22 okay you have 11 and 22 11 and 22 and that's very positive energies because what is happening there right now and you have the Sun and the eight of Pentacles so this is powerful this whatever is happening in your life at this moment is a huge victory it is you know you need not to worry about these sort of a um, situation because things are going to be working out because this is what it is actually saying to you so you know congratulate congratulations again you Leos and whatever is happening um, there is someone who is a Capricorn um, a princess of Pentacles it can um, a Capricorn a Virgo a Virgo um, um, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn that is going to come in your life that you're going to have connection with, with on Thursday and this person is going to bring you just wonderful situations in your life and this is going to be positive you know this is really going to be positive okay 
I've been receiving this energy and it just fell out it could fell out for myself but it just fell out for you guys because I'm doing your reading and it says orphan you have no um, you don't have to feel like this you know the energy of orphan being alone and that sort of a thing because you're never alone you have your guides and angel and it is a good time a sense of loss and identity crisis recognizing that you don't fit in the need to belong uncertainty about your place so we were all meant to have a connection with other people within our family social um, societies and the larger culture no man is an island and it's important to recognize when being a part of rather than separating is essential to your well-being the issue at hand is the need to find where you fit be true to your your core truths and value perhaps you no longer identify with a group or community the way you did before and need to find a new situation you need to feel a deep sense of loss you might feel a deep sense of loss or confusion Add the needs for belonging and know that you will find your place with others of like mind and spirituality. It's okay to let go of pressures to fit in. Not everyone will understand you. It's time to move on. Okay, I'm you know, I I I do feel that sometimes. And um, and this is why I've always said because if you listen to my video, I always said I'm not from this planet because I'm 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 really not from this planet. I'm not a earthling. I I came in on this planet to help people. I'm my energy vibration is far um, higher than the normal um, people energy vibration because I don't I don't have eight. I don't think bad thoughts. I don't I don't have jealousy. I am just, you know, one of those weird, strange people. I even find myself being weird. And I used to, um, ever since I was young, I just never fit in. I never fit in where I was born. I never felt at home. I just never see the connection. I couldn't understand the culture. And um, I've traveled the world and I don't need, and then I realized that I don't need to identify myself with anyone because I know I do not identify myself with no group of men. And I love America because it's my home, and I love the Netherlands because I've lived there for so many years. And I, 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 I when I'm here, I'm okay. When I'm there, no. When I'm here, I'm missing there. When I'm there, I'm missing here. I see myself as a spiritual beam on this planet. Okay, I'm not off this planet, but I'm here now. I need to do what I'm doing which is doing these reading and this sort of a thing. So in my younger days, I, 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 I've never felt the, the, the sense because sometimes I feel as if I can't connect with certain people and they think that I am, um, I am, I think I'm better than them, but, but that's not it. It's just that I can't connect with you. I can't have a conversation with you. I, I can't see, um, I can't feel that connection and um, so it, it, it's kind of strange that this card comes up for you guys because you don't need that you know and I will say to people don't try to connect to a group and said there are some people just just walk around with oh I'm this and I'm this you know for me I have no color <laughs> I have no group I don't connect um, to to groups and and, and, and and a country and that sort of a thing no I don't see myself I see myself as a spiritual beam on this planet and when we learn to understand that we don't own anything on this planet we're just here for a time um, then you're going to just understand that you don't need to connect to a group or culture there are people who just walk away from their families and don't have anything to do with their families and they go on and they meet meet new people and new friends and you will find your group and at this time what is happening is that a lot of so, um, people who are soul connected because soul connected means that you feel connected 
to this group it's as if you meet someone for the first time and it's as if you speak a language without even talking it's as if you feel so connected to that person so what I've learned to do and this is what I tell people I don't need to identify myself with a group of people okay I know um, who I am as a person so once you know who you are as a person you don't need to connect to a group of people I don't need to say that I'm african-american and I don't need to say that I'm this and I don't need to say that I was born here and I was because I it's not mine it is just something that I I was born um, on this planet and I had to came through some place in my mom's stomach you know but um, and, and, and that's it it's like people who and and you know a long time ago people who had babies on on the plane that's why they stopped people from having babies on the plane because the biggest problem was that they um, you have to choose the country that the plane was over at the time um, to give the child an identity and what if that that the parents are from a totally different country so how would the child have an identity when it's born in the sky over a country that they're flying over so yeah why why give yourself an identity I don't see that so what I'm saying to you guys is that don't put don't put a label on yourself because what you're doing is label yourself see yourself as a spiritual being who is trying to make the best on this planet I, 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 I really don't do that okay so don't feel alone and feel worried and feel misplaced and not um, feeling pl um, at place I feel pl I feel at home when I'm here I feel at home when I'm in the Netherlands so I don't have a, I, I really don't have a problem um, I, I just I'm happy with myself you know and, 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 and that's it you just have to be happy with yourself and know who you are and you don't have to place a label on yourself okay let's see what the psychic tarot is saying victory and success there you go there you go my darlings so not to worry um, victory and success is coming in for you not to worry and you have a lot of victory and success because you have two times the sword so there is a lot of wonderful victory and success is coming in for you so you know this is good this is wonderful this is um, very very positive so whatever is happening this is um, very good for you guys okay so not to worry you don't need to identify with anything call in the Christ light and this is um, very good it says open the door to the kingdom of heaven and how you do that is by um, healing your wounds healing your pains and your wounds and you know release 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 and heal yourself and once you heal yourself you can open up to the Christ light okay and another way to do that is to call upon the Christ light you have to invoke the Christ light three times and ask it to flow through you and and surround you and help you to open up the door to the kingdom of heaven okay and, and just opening up the door to the kingdom of heaven is like opening up your consciousness okay um, you know we need to stop using this heaven and earth because heaven is on earth it is the way you live your life okay um, I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back your video is so long namaste um, enjoy the new year and um, the year readings are going to be uploaded soon and I want to say thank you so much for supporting my channel you guys have so, uh, so uh, I love you all I'm sending you a lot of love um, I'm trying to have my coffee I'm sending you a lot of love and I'm saying happy new year until next year bye